Hey guys, how you doing? It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. So I'm going to walk you through this video. I'll give you my review of Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown that was released yesterday on January 31st. Uh, well, first thing first, it does support native 4K. It does have native 4K capabilities. On top of the native 4K, you can also switch to a resolution scaling meaning that you can practically scale the 4k resolution to 8k and have even more ridiculous detail uh, there's no question about it the pc version is by far the best looking version out of all three versions uh, and uh, you will notice that another great thing is the fact that this game uh, also has unlocked frame rate and that's another cool feature that I really like about the Ace Combat 7 on PC. The unlocked frame rates are super smooth. And for a game like this, the unlocked frame rate, when you're going up 100 plus 144, 200 frames per second uh, on your monitor, it just looks bananas. It is really perfect for Ace Combat, especially in the multiplayer. Uh, now, many of you have a question whether or not this Ace Combat 7 PC version supports a Hotus, Hotus T Flight Stick by Trustmaster, and the good news is, yes, it definitely supports uh, Hotus, as I like to call it, Hot S, or Hot S. <laughs> Flight stick, yeah, it is compatible. You can use the one that you already have with uh, PlayStation 4 Pro. All you have to do is just connect it to your uh, PC and you're good to go. And uh, as you will see right here, I'm going to show it to you in a second on the video. You will see that it is compatible. Uh, another great thing about this is it's exactly the same layout. The same layout that's on the PlayStation 4 version it's exactly the same as it is on the PC version and that's awesome. And playing this with the unlocked frame rate is the uh, best way to play the Ace Combat 7 on the multiplayer. Now let's jump into the, the graphics. Uh, let's talk about the graphics. Here's the thing with the graphics. Yes, it does support native 4K as you will see right here on full screen. It does have a V-Sync and it does have a frame rate that you can switch between 120 to 144 unlimited. So you have the uh, ability to switch between the unlimited frame rate with no limits or you can select your own frame limit depending on your specs on your system. Uh, and this is great and this looks amazing on native 4K and 3D by 2160. But you gotta make sure you select the full screen. Now here's the part that kind of sucks. This is the advanced settings. The advanced settings is really kind of poor. They don't have that many options. The only thing they have is just scaling, which is cool. This can help you scale the resolution to 8K. They have uh, anti-aliasing, FX AA high, shadow quality, texture effect quality, post-processing quality. But there's some other stuff missing that DirectX 12 has. I was really hoping that maybe we would get a DirectX 12, but I'm not going to complain about this too much. I'm still happy with the settings that they do have here for the Unreal Engine 4. Uh, remember, they can always patch this up with the update for DirectX 12 in the future. Uh, let's jump into the multiplayer. Multiplayer, it's where this game really shines. Uh, multiplayer is fun. I haven't had any issues with the servers. The servers pop in really quick, really fast. You can do a battle royale. You can do a team death match. That's my favorite. You can choose many different types of settings, restrictions, private uh, rooms, what have you. You can create your own room. You can invite other people. So the multiplayer runs real smooth. I haven't had any issues whatsoever on the multiplayer. The reason the multiplayer, for me personally, it's great on PC is because it's more fluid. You know? When you are playing in native 4K with 144 frames per second or even more, 
frames per second. This is where this game shines. That 144 frames per second, or 244 frames per second, depending on your spec, really shines in this game. This video is recorded in 4K60, so you can't really see 144 or 244 frames per second, but trust me when I tell you, it's very smooth, it's very fluid, and uh, this is where the immersion will come in with a T-Flight Hotus flight stick. When you're playing with a flight stick, on multiplayer with a good pair of uh, headsets you will truly get immersed into the multiplayer on the PC now that's not to say that the 60 FPS sucks on the console but once you step into a uh, native 4k with whooping 144 frames per second uh, we all can pretty much figure out which version you're gonna go with uh, but that's not to also disregard the fact that you know, console version has some accolades as well. A PlayStation VR, for example, it's only exclusive. The VR, it's only exclusive for PlayStation this year. And it's not going to be available till next year for everybody else. Uh, multiplayer, it's a lot of fun. And I think this is where, this is the main reason why people want to buy this game. Because of the multiplayer. Think of Ace Combat like the Call of Duty in the air. It's really what it is fast pace it's like Call of Duty in the air and you guys truly gonna love it I'm telling you I love it it's very addictive it's just that I kind of suck at it right now <laughs> um, but as you can see no issues no problems me selecting my sortie uh, the waiting it's period it's really not that long like one minute two minutes uh, it depends sometimes uh, maybe 40 seconds 50 seconds it's really fast no bugs no problems load up really fast everything it's smooth uh, as you can see it quickly uh, server was able to pick up and load up the game and just no issues no bugs uh, and uh, in my honest opinion I think that by far this is the best version you know, uh, if you want, if you have a really good PC, let me put it this way, if you have a really good PC that can handle 4K and 144 frames per second or maybe even higher, uh, I highly suggest that you do so. Uh, flying through these clouds at 144 frames per second or 244 frames per second in native 4K is truly a delight. You really feel like you're going through the clouds, especially if you've got a really good 4K monitor, 10-bit monitor like I do, 32-inch EW uh, from BenQ. So, uh, look, I'm really happy uh, with uh, what Namco did here with the PC version. I was a bit afraid in my uh, first time when I got this game. I only got the 1440p, but then later on they patched up the game, they sent the update, and I was able to uh, enjoy playing this in the native 4K. Uh, everything really runs smooth. Uh, I honestly don't have any, there's no complaints. Uh, it supports the Thrustmaster Hotus T Flight, the one that you have with the PlayStation 4, you can use it with the PC. It has the same exact layout on the buttons as the PlayStation version. Uh, if you don't have the flight stick, you can go ahead and use the Xbox controller. But the fact that it has the uh, compatibility with the Trustmaster Hotus T Flight controller, that's awesome. The fact that it runs in a native 4K and that you can scale the resolution to 8K and the fact that you have no limits on the frame rates so you can go as much as you want depending on how much your PC can handle so uh, I mean I like it I mean I don't know is there anything that I can complain at the moment there's really nothing that I can complain I don't see any bugs it loads up pretty fast the campaign is all right you know if you love the story of the ace combat then I guess you're gonna enjoy it but uh, you don't have to necessarily be into the story or know the previous games to get into it. So, there you go. 
Hopefully you guys like this video. Let me know what you think. I personally think that the PC version is the way to go, and I highly suggest that you guys pick up the PC version. Have a good one, though. Take care.